Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. Today we're going to take a look at a few different ways that we can use to limit the entry of values into a cell. So let's take a look and see the various ways we can do that in Excel. So here's our scenario. We want to enter numbers between 10 and 100 using multiples of 10 only. So I want to limit the entry into cell E3 to be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, etc., only up to 100. What we can use is the data validation option to control what is entered and to validate the data entered into cell E3. So I'm going to go to the Data tab, select Data Validation, and I'm going to choose List. Now there's a few things that we can do here. Number one, we can actually manually type in the numbers. I can type 10, 20, etc. till I get to 100, and that will control the source list. Or instead of doing that, if I have the list printed somewhere, like I do in A4 to A13, I can just click on my Range Finder button here, select that, and say OK, and now I've limited it to that list of numbers from 1 to 100. And I can select any of those numbers, or if somebody wants to manually type them in, that's fine. And if they go to type something that's not correct, it will generate an error. Now, the third option here is, if you've noticed, if I highlight this list, I've named that numbers, so I can go to my data validation and instead of selecting a source, I can type equals numbers. And again, I have the same situation where I can limit just to that list of 10 through 100. And if, again, somebody tries to type something incorrect, it'll create an error. Now, the other option here, using data validation, is to enter a formula. So again, if I select data validation, and I'm going to select custom, and I need to type a formula that will control what I want to have entered. Now, I have three conditions. I need it to be greater than or equal to 10, less than or equal to 100, and in multiples of 10. So my formula, I'm going to use the AND function because I have three different criteria here. So I'm going to say equals AND, parentheses. I want this cell to be greater than or equal to 10, comma, I want this cell to be less than or equal to 100, and I'm also going to use the mod function to control the multiples of 10. So I'm going to say I want E5, comma, 10, and I want that to equal 0. Close my parentheses, and I'll say OK. Now, if I try to type a number, for example, 50, goes in no problem, 60, no problem, 120, it will not let me do that. If I type in 45, again, that will create an error. So how does the mod function work? Well, if we take a look at it, equals mod, mod returns the remainder after a number is divided by a divisor. So my number is going to be whatever I enter there. My divisor is going to be 10. So by doing that, whatever number I enter into that, as long as it's divisible by 10, and I get a remainder of 0, that's going to create a true factor for my AND function. And that's how I can use that to create the multiple of 10 criteria. Now, the other thing I can do to make it a little bit easier for my users is to add a form control so they don't even have to type in anything. They can just use a spinner button to select the numbers that are available. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my Developer tab and go to Insert, and I'm going to select a spinner button, Form Control. I'm going to hold down my Alt key so that will lock it to fit into the width and heights of cells. And once I've entered that, I'm going to right click and go down to Format Control. And now I can enter in my criteria. My minimum value, I said I want to be 10. My maximum value, 100. Increments of 10. 
and my cell link is going to be E5. And I'll just say OK. And now I can just use the spinner button to scroll through the numbers. And again, it won't go below 10. It won't go above 100. So I can either use that or again, I can manually enter numbers in. And this way I've been able to control the entry to meet the criteria I want. And using the spinner button, I've made it very easy for my users to select the values in that cell. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.